Um, one of the things that I sort of developed quite early on was was a, a, a sort of a hybrid picking thing. I, I never was very comfortable with a thumb pick. Um, they, they were always too tight and my thumb always turned blue. So I thought, no, I'm not really going to use one of them. So I decided to stick with the pick and develop these two fingers to try and get something going that sounded a bit sort of Scotty Moore. I was very, very into Scotty Moore when I, when I first started playing. And um, uh, it's, it's, it's not... I think it's it's easier than, than a thumb pick, but it's not. It, obviously, if you want to play like Chet Atkins, probably the best thing to do is stick with a thumb pick. But here's the way I do it: we we'll just do something in in E. And really what you're doing, or what you're trying to do, is keep the, 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 the uh, bottom strings going, the, uh, the E and the D string. And with uh, the, the middle finger, you're just picking up on the, uh, on the top strings. Just playing sevenths and sixths and things. I always kind of look at it as, as as kind of a box. These two these two frets here on on if you're playing on an E, the third and the second frets. So I always look at that those two strings, the uh, the E and the B as as just a box, and just keep your little finger within those, and it'll always it'll always work. You'll always come up with something that sounds good. It's always nice to put that little roll in on the on the index finger there. Mm -hmm. 